Hi guys, this is Rob with Gold Plating Services, and uh, today we're going to be plating this belt buckle. It's a elephant head one from Laos, I guess. Um, and I don't know what it's made of. It kind of seems like a brass or bronze alloy. It almost looks 14K to begin with, but the customer wants us to bright nickel plate it, and then we're going to put on the final gold plate. So here we have our Pro Lab. This is our one gallon beaker setup. We have electric cleaner, bright nickel, trival acid gold strike, and our gold plating solution. So I've racked it up. I just ran some copper wire through here to make sure it gets connection from this to this. You want to make sure you get a good electrical connection for any moving parts. We're going into the electric cleaner. It's at 140 degrees. Uh, we're going to leave it in here for maybe half a minute or a minute. So you can set the temperature on the Pro Lab. It's really nice. You just push these arrows up and down, push set, it automatically maintains it. There's a heater built in here that wires and plugs straight into the side. It's a flat adhesive heater. And then it's got this insulation that helps it maintain temperature. Um, we've got a voltage readout up here. Um, and it, um, the electric cleaner just actually gets, I've cleaned the part very well. I polished it, cleaned it with um, toiling and then some soap and water and baking soda and a toothbrush. And um, let's check it out. So the electric cleaner, even though it's called electric clean, you want it clean before you even go into the electric clean. It just gets the surface prepared, uh, that final touch. So it looks good. And the important thing here is it's wet out. It stays wet. You don't have any areas that are drying quickly. But since we're going to be nickel plating this, I'm actually gonna put it back in a little bit longer because if you, when bright nickel plating, if you don't have the part perfectly clean, that is your highest chance of having discoloration. And it will end up looking like cloudy smudge marks. And so I'm just gonna play it safe and go a little bit longer. Now, this bright nickel plating solution is 100 and 40 degrees, it ranges 120 to 140 is optimal. It's got air agitation. And um, the, I'm gonna turn up the air actually a little bit on it so it bubbles a little bit more. And we've got a one pump that controls all the air on this. The air agitation helps keep you from getting any discoloration and this solution really brightens stuff up a lot. So where it's already shiny, it's gonna be really bright and shiny after we nickel plate it. And it also, if you saw this piece before, it was all tarnished and really quite ugly looking. Um, okay, now we're gonna come over here to the tri Gold Strike. Now for this step, instead of hanging it on the bar that usually carries electricity, I'm just gonna do it by hand with this black common lead. So I clip it to the rack, and then here we're just gonna go in for maybe five seconds. And while I'm in here, I'm just gonna agitate. Just move it around a little bit. And this is an acid that also simultaneously deposits a tiny bit of gold. This is just an important step for that. The first step was a base solution. It's uh, kind of like a soap. And then this is an acid which gets any of that leftover stuff off. You know, for this step, I'm actually going to uh, turn the voltage down. So I'm leaving the part in the water while I do so. I'm going to be plating at, uh, we'll go with 2.4 volts. Two, two to two to 2.5 is really fine. We'll start here and try it out. And I'm going to go ahead and just hang it on here. And then I'm actually going to clip it too, just to make sure it's got really good electrical connection this bus bar is a little bit dirty we've been doing a lot of plating and we're gonna go ahead and leave it in here for probably about three minutes so we're gonna pause while it's in there and then we'll check back in with you all right guys it's been a couple minutes let's check it out and see how it's coming along hopefully if all went well it'll be beautiful and nickel And to me, it looks fantastic. Let's check the inside. Even the, the deep parts, it threw inside really well, which is really important. Okay, looks beautiful. So we're just gonna move forward onto the uh, gold over here. 
Now this solution is a 24 karat bright gold, meaning if it's bright and shiny like this before, it'll be bright and shiny after. If the piece was dull before, it will be dull after. Um, it is 99.7% pure and plus, so it's at least 99.7. It's actually more in the realm of about 99.8 or 9. But it does have cobalt in it, which is the hardening agent. Um, the way it makes it harder and still so pure is it disrupts the way the crystals form. So it's um, the, the crystals are more compact, which ends up making it actually about two to three times harder on the, the noob scale. So for jewelry, or in this case a belt buckle, that's really important since it's going to be handled so much and uh, rub on other things. But we're going to leave it in here. Uh, this guy, it's a very important piece to him. We're going to leave it in for probably 15 minutes, which will give it around a vermeil thickness of probably about two and a half microns or 100 micro inches and we'll pull it out when it's done and you can see how it looks but before we do I just want to see if it's already gold see it's starting to tint gold um, after about every six minutes it gets one micron so we'll check back with you all right guys the moment of truth this sucker's got a lot of gold it's been in probably about 17 minutes so it's really thick and it should Beautiful. Now this rinse water is purple, but that's just because we've done a lot of plating. It's just a rough rinse. Let's go into final rinse and check that bad boy out. It's got a nice thick layer, 24 karat gold, and that will not be wearing off anytime soon. That would last many years, even under normal use. All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions, uh, make sure you leave your comments below. Give us a call. Write us an email. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video showing the ProLab do some 24K gold plating. Have a good one, guys.